Hello there, and thank you for joining me today with another Mango Voice tutorial. My name is Tyler, and today we're going to be going over our web application, which is going to allow you to send text messages, receive those text messages, check your visual voicemail, and a bunch of other great features that we're going to go over today. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to app.mangovoice.com and log in. Once you're logged in, if Mango Plus is not active, this is what you're going to see. And you're going to have the ability to click on Upgrade right here. And that's just going to give you the pricing and take you to our website, which will give you all of the information that you need. In order to actually upgrade, you'll want to contact Mango Voice Sales Department, and they can get you set up with that. So for those with Mango Plus enabled, this is what you're going to see. We have our little bar here on the left-hand side, which is going to give us our text, our call history, voicemail, and fax. In the text box, it's going to give you access to all of the text message that you sent and received. All you have to do is find the text message that you want to send and you can start beginning your text conversation. And it's as simple as that. Now you'll also receive text messages here. Now you'll notice that we're not in the chat anymore. That's because in order for us to see that Devin has replied, we want to exit that chat, otherwise it counts it as read automatically. So we can see that we have a reply from Devin here. All we have to do is highlight that and we can read that reply and it's going to mark it as read. Now you could also come over here and click on unread and that's just going to show you all of the texts that you've received that you've yet to actually read. And this is going to be the most recent in descending order. Now we also have our call history. This is going to be a call history of the extension that you've logged in with. Everything read is a missed call. Anything not read means it was either an outbound call or answered. Now we have this dial pad right up here. This is our click to call function. If you click on that option right there, you'll be able to type in or paste a phone number that you'd like to call. Um, then you'll click on this call option here and it's calling your desk phone. So it's gonna call your actual physical device first and then you can answer on your physical device and it'll initiate the call to the number that you typed in. Now our voicemail here is where it's going to show you all of the voicemails that have been left on your extension. You can go ahead and pick the voicemail you'd like and you can click on the play button here which is going to allow you to listen to that voicemail. You'll also be able to read the transcription right here beneath the play button. Now you also have access to our faxing. You can send faxes from the app simply by clicking on this option right here. It's going to ask you for the number you're faxing from and the number you want to fax to. You'll then select your files just like you would in our website. Click in this box and find the file you want to send. You then click on send and that fax is on its way. Now you can also tell if you've received a fax. So this blue arrow here means that you have received that one fax. And then of course you know that you've sent these faxes because of the red arrow. Now we also have some other settings we can check out if we click on settings. Our journal of course is going to allow you to send us feedback directly. Our text settings allows you to create snippets so this is really cool. You can go ahead and type out whatever you'd like that snippet uh, name to be and then type out whatever you want for that information. So, so once you have all that typed out you click on save and now you have a snippet that's hashtag info or pound info. If we close this and come back to our texting, we can then text Dave pound info and all of that comes pre-typed out. Now you are restricted to a thousand characters with these messages, but you can go ahead and type up to me a message up to a thousand characters and be able to send that relatively easily. Now we also have some settings for the phone. You can enable auto answer. Now the auto answer, when you turn that on, that's going to allow your click to call to answer automatically on your physical phone. So you won't actually have to pick it up. It'll just count it as answered and make that call. Now notifications, this is how you're going to get blocked now the notifications setting, this is where you're going to be able to turn on and off your notifications. Um, you'll be able to turn those on, turn those off, that way they'll ding at you or not depending on what you want. And then this last one here we're not going to go into because that's primarily for our use, so we're not even going to touch on that one. Now you can log out of the app by clicking on that as well and click on the log out option here and that'll take you right back to the sign in page. And that's everything I have to show you today, so thank you again for joining me with your Mango Voice tutorial. And if this tutorial helped you today, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to like this video. And if you're interested in more tutorials, consider subscribing to our channel as we are going to be uploading more videos to help you with your Mango system.